Hello everybody from the Opium Pulses channel. My name is Karf from Opium Pulses and welcome to another game review. This week we're reviewing a game called Pamela, which is an open world post-apocalyptic survival horror game, which is still in early access and costs around 22.99 euros. The game takes place in Eden, a utopian city which has been ravaged by a virus that turns people into sorts of zombies. I think while the story may be cliché, it is done well. You can find pieces of the story by interacting with the various computers and notes, and that will give you more of an idea of what happened in Eden. And the voice acting is also pretty damn well, because most of the story is told through voice acting by the computers. The game starts you off out of a cryogenic pod in a medical center, where you are supposed to find your way out and get into the city and explore the world. The starting place is quite eerie and creepy, and I honestly get the chills while walking because of the atmosphere. There are these frozen figures every now and then, and they look fucking creepy. Now, you can find various items and shields and weapons by opening chests and other sorts of storage uh, compartments. But not every chest can be opened. To open a chest or such, you have to first scan it using your scanner gun, which you can pull out by holding R, which also acts as a buildable tool if you press T and change the mode. If you do scan them, there is still no guarantee that you're going to get it open. Sometimes the chest does, just doesn't want to open. This is shown by the red X on your crosshair when you look at the chest, and sometimes the chest is locked, which you have to open by doing some motion puzzles where you have to stop the spinning object in the correct zone. There are four difficulties I've seen so far, it's easy, medium, hard, and an inferno, which get progressively harder, for example, the zones get smaller, or they start spinning as well. There's a lot of items you can find, differentiating from shields, gadgets, and medical items, and upgrades, and so on. And to equip them, you press I on your keyboards, and that opens your inventory. And if you have a gadget in your inventory, for example, but don't have it equipped, the gadget slot will shine green, meaning you have something you can equip. By pressing tab, you can bring up a menu, which is sort of like the Pip-Boy, and you can look at the map or open up your inventory or look at the stats. Speaking of your stats, when you level up, you get a genome point, which you can spend on leveling up your stats like your health or your stamina, sort of like an RPG. You also have your basic survival game elements like food, water, energy, health, and so on. Finding food and medical items is not that difficult, considering you can buy them from vending machines using Lux, which is the in-game currency you can find in cash registers. The graphics of the game are pretty damn beautiful, even though the game does not take much space at all. The initial download for me was 1.5 GB, and it honestly looks too good to be only 1.5 GB. When put on ultra settings, the game looks absolutely stunning, and even on medium, it still looks good. The only issue is that you get lower FPS. For me, I was getting around 30 FPS on medium or on ultra, and my frames were dropping, and I was sensing some stirring, but that was mostly because I was fighting someone, or uh, because I was just nearly spawned. Speaking of spawning, when you die, you can choose where you want to spawn, but that is only if you have discovered the other medical facilities. Then you can spawn in other places than the starting place. The first time you spawn in the game, it takes a long time. When I was recording the first gameplay, it took 20 minutes for me to spawn. The game also tells you that while spawning and loading, it takes a lot of time. When you're loading or you're spawning, the game looks like it has crashed, but it has not. You just have to let it be. It just takes some time. The enemies in this game differentiate from robots and, dare I say, zombies. And each of them have their own attacks, but the, on the ones I found only fought using punching. I should say that the robots doesn't always want to kill you. They kill the infected, and while they're fighting one, they put you in this sort of contamination zone. And if you get out of there, they will come to kill you. The first time I was playing, I got put into the contamination zone, and I got transported to another place, which I had no clue what happened at first. The game's controls are pretty simple. You have your basic keys like W, A, S, D to walk, E to interact, hold R to scan, T to switch functions, I for inventory, tap for player menu, escape for other menu, hold Alt to block or use shield, left click to attack, and hold right click to attack with both hands. And you use your F to use your flashlight. I did not know that. I did not know that I can use my flashlight, so I walk around everywhere while without light, and I got more panicked than before. The game settings are also pretty simple. You got your basic graphic settings, sounds, and controls. The player HUD looks well. Well, 
it kind of doesn't exist. Since you have that pit boy, you don't really have a HUD. Finding a weapon was one of the hardest things for me in this game. Finding without a weapon with stuttering FPS was pretty frustrating. However, I did not get mad, to be honest. The enemies don't take that long to kill, and you can block, which makes them do less damage. Overall, I think this game has a lot of potential. It has a lot of potential of being better than it is. If they fix the performance issues, I think this game will be one of the better survival games on Steam, since it does everything else pretty well. And my thoughts on if you should buy this game or not, I would say it depends on you. If you want to wait for the game to be a bit more polished and then buy it, go ahead. And if you don't want to do that, also go ahead. You won't be displeased by the game. You just have to trial and error every time you spawn and you should try your best to get better and try to see which graphic settings are best for you. Well, that's it for this review. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to tune in next time where I review another game. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.